seems like this spring spring ball is going by fast. Does it go by yeah. fast for you? Do you try to emphasize how important each practice is for these guys? Yeah, it definitely goes by fast. I think, uh, especially when you've got a, some young guys you're trying to get timing with, I think every day is really important, um, vital for us to get a bunch of reps. I mean, there's only 15 chances, but with those 50 chances, those are huge too. I mean, I reference the bowl practices too for a lot of these guys, Tyler Shuck and some of these guys have had a chance to go now, you know, that first 15 in the bowl practice now this is it really pays big dividends so it's been good i'm excited to have a few more left before we get, get it done and hit the road after the scrimmage on saturday justin said you know maybe the offense wasn't he wasn't particularly satisfied with what they did have you seen steps since since that saturday yeah yeah, yeah for sure i think those are, those days are going to happen you got to get through those lumps i think uh you know, he's really critical of himself. We all know that as a, as a senior, and I think raising the expectations and the threshold to the man's and where we're at, I think are really, really important to all of us, and, and, and him in particular. And uh, I think that's the way it's gotta be. You know, the, the, the expectations gotta go up, the standards go up, and I think when you go ahead and uh, have a, a little bit step back, you expi- you know, you're inspired to come back and, and have a great next day and, and a good meeting and all the things that we kind of uh, talk about with our standards. You know. Cristobal said one of his main priorities was adding wrinkles into the running game so far this spring. How do you think it's been developed? Good. I think there's some little tweaks um, that we've done that, that we like, that we assessed from last year. Um, you know, I think that those things all are, are fun things that we're working with in spring. I think that they're things that we've thought about and looked at, you know, and uh, we thought in some other, and in some other cases maybe something we thought was okay or didn't work as well. It's, Let's move forward with some other ideas, and I think uh, it's been good. I think that's what springs for, to find some things that you really did well from the following season and some things maybe that you can in, uh, include with maybe personnel or just uh, what they did, uh, what we did uh, in particular, and uh, it's been good. What are some of those new things? Tight ends, all that? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, there, there's some new, I mean, little things. We, we uh, mixed up where we had the back a couple times, obviously. Um, there's some stuff we can do trying to do with the wide receivers and tight ends. Um, and try to find some, some positions, maybe some RPOs and things like that. Um, we played well with tempo at the late in the season, you know, speed them things up and, and, and play fast. Um, those all things that we assessed, I think, that, that are, we're doing now that I think are good. Where have you seen the wide receivers adjust to a new, new wide receiver uh, Coach Bo's done a great job. I think those guys are, you know, the, the new wide receivers coach that are in a lot of new wide receivers. I don't know if they had any adjustment, really. They, they don't know, they, they both know each other, each other on the hop. Yeah. Um, they've done a really good job. I think that, that right now, uh, those guys are you can see they're really being particular with a lot of the details a lot of the a lot of the teaching with the young guys the Pittman's the Delgado's the Juwans as a new guy in the offense um, I mean you go down the line of guys who are running with ones and twos all the way down to Herbert um, and, and and those guys are um, obviously as a tight end but uh, the wide receivers done a really nice job they're, 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 every day is a, a good day for us to get timing you know? and I think that's part of that's the that's the beauty and, and kind of the work that we get in spring is learning about each other you know? What are you seeing of Felix's role now that he's healthy? Obviously, you had Royce two years ago, last year he was hurt. Kind of, where's he at? It's right? really nice to see Felix out there healthy. Um, he, he really has some some really special traits. You know, the ability to kind of um, be low to the ground. He's explosive, um, can see, has good vision, catches the ball well. Um, top end speed's good, can make you miss, got a little wiggle. And to have him healthy throughout the course of it, you know, has been really nice to see him keep progressing, you know. And so it's nice to have him out there and finish spring, and I think he's excited about that too. What was your first impression of Jawan Johnson when he stepped on campus? Well, I think the first impression as a football player, I met him in recruiting. I flew out there and saw him recruiting, but the first impression was, wow, yeah, you're, you're as big as I remember, but bigger, you know, with pads <laughs> on. Um, the thing that's best about Jawan is really how engaged he's been. He's not, he doesn't, he didn't come out here as a guy who's played a ton, which he has. He's played a lot. He's been in a big time program, been in big time games. He came out of been real. He's been very humble, and uh, his work ethic and the way he's been out, and come early and stay late. That's really good to see, and I think that's good for our young guys to see too. Uh, it's been it's, it's been an awesome experience with him so far. You guys ran a lot of your offense out of the pistol formation last season. Is that kind of the game plan moving forward this season, or are you kind of? Yeah, we'll probably mix it up. I think you saw us mix it up a little bit at the end of the season. We saw some of our, our offset runs mix in there, which were nice. Um, some of our tempo plays. Um, finding out where our backs, if they can handle that far back stuff and things like that, I think that's going to be pretty multiple. It'll be a good blend, you know. That running back room is deep, obviously, again. Have you guys talked about more of a rotation this season going forward? or? You know, I think that those guys have done such a good job with the rotation. It's like one of those things, if not broke, if not broke, try to f- don't fix it, you know. It's like they've done a really nice job, CJ and Di, and now Felix being healthy. And, uh, you know, Cyrus has really come along as well. I think that rotation's a really healthy rotation. They, they all do a really nice job. 
Um, Coach Master does a great job coaching those guys, and I think they all have their uh, little roles here and there, but they're a good blend. And I don't know if the rotation would change much. They're pretty productive, you know. It's just keeping those guys healthy, too, is an important deal in our offense. Shane said something new that's been going on is the offensive line, the running backs, and the tight ends are all meeting together. Uh, what has that brought as far as so far the spring? Yeah, I think little things like that, the, the ability to, to – uh, look inside of what you do as a group or as an offense and say how can you get better in one aspect and teaching is a big part of it. Finding ways to get um, groups more inclusive together to hear each other talk or even the unit like having other coaches speak. I don't always hear, hear me, the other guys. I think that creates a bond and a glue around guys that they understand, they can hear the people talk because then the game, at the end of the day those guys are out there between themselves too most of that game. They can, they can really lean on each other in that regard. They can hear what other guys are thinking. I think that, that pulls the group closer together. Oh, that's what he's thinking on that. That makes sense to me. Or that, this was the hand signal on that, and I didn't see it. I think it's easier to do that together than when you're in the opposite room. So we found little things like that in our teaching, even, not just scheme, that I think um, we're constantly trying to evolve and get better at. Uh, I think every trip we take, as, a, as, as old as I'll get, and I'll take a time now to, to go out and have a chance to watch other people do it, Alabama being the example you're using, um, where Coach was at for a while, they, they've done a really nice job for a long time. You know, we're, we've got a lot of similar things in the way we, we do our program with our own tweaks. We're still working on Alabama. But, um, it was good to see them work and good to see the detail, good to see the structure, good to see um, you know, what kind of things, maybe little tweaks or teaching things, sit in a quarterback room and find a little note, that's a good way, that's a good idea or, or that's a good way to teach it. Um, I think that's, those things are priceless for us. Any opportunity we can do and we're going to do them after the season too and go see some people that we know and keep trying to fine tune, even as coaches. I think uh, none of us in the staff feel like we're stagnant guys, we kind of want to keep evolving. You know? Outside of Juwan, is there any newcomers who have really caught eyes and trying to fight for time early? Yeah, I, yeah, I think Juwan's a nice job. Micah's done a nice job. Delgado's coming back from a, a little bit of getting back on the field a little bit more here last uh, today after sitting out a little bit. Um, those two guys have done a really nice job, you know. Um, as far as new guys, Tyler's getting a, uh, Shuck's in a, a bigger role now, you know, getting a lot of reps of the twos. And, um, but in, you know, specifically the guys who just got here, with Micah and Juwan doing a really nice job. Kel Wright, you know, Kel's done a really nice job at DB. And there's some young faces out there who are getting a lot of reps who look really, really nice, you know, really fun. And Coach, um, for Cam, it's been a long road back for him. What's that? What's it like to see him like back out here and just like working with the team? Well, I mean, two pieces. He's such a he's such a, a, a guy before we even get on the field. You know, he's a, a leadership role, a guy that a guy that the people look up to. He's got some reps uh, on the field, a lot of game reps and big games, and uh, the way he works. All those things, I think, are to get him back on the field and get him back in pads. I think just energizes the group. You know, I think it's really nice to see it happens. It happens like that, as we all know, all the time. He's just you know, kind of infectious in that regard. And it's really nice to have him healthy. Marcus, sorry, this is a repeat from before, but That's with uh, CJ, has been limited a bit here in the spring. He obviously had a great season last season. What do you want him to work on? What has he been working on? Because most of the time, we've seen him a little bit limited uh, with the hamstring and stuff. So yeah, season. we're just making sure we manage the reps. You know, I think that the managing the reps in spring, as we were talking about earlier, those guys in the rotation in the backs. Um, CJ coming off that first season, really, are there, are there little things that we can do at every position? CJ in particular, you know, pass protection. Um, some of the runs, seeing the runs, the way that they're, maybe he would have seen him differently now, a little more patience. Um, the game slows down a little bit in the second season um, on the field, and I think all those little things, protection, seeing the runs, identifying that, no enhanced signals up front, meeting with the O-line, hearing them communicate and how things are blocked, um, having Herbert to throw a little more, a, couple, a few more balls to him. Um, I think those things are all part of him and I both being in that second season. Like, okay, now let's progress from here, you know, without trying to drink through a fire hose too much. You know? Mitch Alon, is, is he basically the pure X? I mean, is that what if you had to draw it up kind of thing, what he brings to the table? Yeah, I think that uh, he's, a, he's a really good X, yeah, for sure. And I think he saw us last year a little bit move Dylan a little bit. And so it, now is where we kind of find out who can, who can kind of be that swing guy and have multiple positions. I just got to be careful with the young guys of giving him too much too early and bogging him down. You want to see him play. You don't want to have to see him slow down mentally. You want to see him play first. But um, he's done a really nice job at X, and he's even come into the slot a couple times in our, in our heavier set. So doing a nice job. Evo.